Hey guys, Illuminaire here. So sorry for not really posting because um, amidst this like really precarious and um, trying times, right? Um, I've been really really busy and I haven't really had time to do this. But um, yeah, my Vanguard cards from TCGJapan.com have finally come. So let's open it up. How am I gonna open this? Okay. Uh, um, so you guys will see what I have actually like ordered and um, let's hope that I don't cut the cuts off, <laughs> you know, damage anything else in the process other than the paper. But okay, seems like it's fine for now. And here we go. So um, this is my playset of the Destructive Raw Mega Colony um, playset and also one copy of Dust, um, I think you can see it right here and I think I ordered two order cards yeah, because I didn't get the Asha, Kurojet or Armour products but I still wanted the, the quick shield so um, yeah, that's why I just ordered it from TCG Japan and Let's see how we're gonna open this up. Uh, maybe we'll just use the scissors to cut it open. Okay, no, the scissors don't really work. Uh, I am really bad at opening stuff, so do bear with me. Yep, there we go. <laughs> I'm spending like way too long trying to open this, but yeah, um so I'm not sure if you guys know, but I, I do play Mega Colony. Uh and of course Dust is for my Pale Moon uh, premium because Hari is coming back and uh, I really want to have Dust to kind of make sure that I have um a somewhat decent win con. Um even though Pale Moon doesn't really require dust to win. It's a nice touch. So, yeah. Uh, let's open up the rest. And it's really hard, like, like to see from behind the camera. So, like, I'm really sorry if like I look like I'm struggling or like in really really like close um. Like, okay, wait, I could, I could really just tear this off, right? Yeah. Okay, thank you for making this easy, tcgjapan.com. Yes, so, um, yeah, anyway, as I was saying, I do play, I do play Mega Colony in Standard. Uh, and I, for the longest time, I wanted to get that playset, but because I do play Spike Brothers as well, I decided to get the Spike Brothers first because, uh, it's it was way cheaper at that point in time. I, I, I wasn't sure why. Like Mega Colony was like really expensive. But now of course like with time um it dropped in price and yeah um naturally um a lot of the the, the cuts became a lot more affordable and that's why I decided to buy it. So yeah, and then contrary, because of the, the, the ban list, right, Spike Brothers actually increased in price. So I was really get, glad that I bought Spike Brothers first, uh, and then I bought Mega Colony, because I bought one that was cheaper um, before, and, and then became more expensive after, and then I bought this one now, which is like, more cheap than, um, than it was like maybe a few months back. So I'm going to open up this one first and let's hope I don't damage any of the cards if I do then rip literally because these cards were expensive <laughs> yeah. okay there we go so from the first pack we have 
one dust, um, zero of dragon of the end of the world dust. Uh, of course the ultimate strike, and oh my gosh, it's actually really beautiful. I actually have never owned um a zero of dragon or really seen one like close up. Ah, these are the other cards. Okay, so we'll get right into the other cards first, I guess. Um, so these are just the plain simple order cards from TD10 which is if I'm not wrong Chronojet <laughs> no I think now okay but yeah um very nice so it's nice to have these order cards because yeah now playing standard going second isn't as bad well it's still bad but it's better than before and we have the dust so I'm not gonna take it out of the sleeve but it's really beautiful and um it used to be really really powerful and then it got erupted and then it wasn't as like broken um as it was and then um it got like the, the rules the game rules got updated so dust kind of fell in terms of its power and everything because you can guard um with great tools right now with his um despite him lowering your regards grade to one you just can't g guard so um, still powerful though I would say it's 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 a decent um ultimate strike. So now um oops sorry, <laughs> moving on. Uh, to the mega colony playset. So I uh, I'm just going to go through this like really really quickly because like um I don't think that um at this point anybody wants to see me open up um playset of cards from the destructive raw but if you do hey sure by all means uh so these are like the stacks they, they really do arrange it very well and they protect the cards very very well so like, i'm really really happy that they um do just that and yeah you realize that it's not just like within one sleeve and then they pack all the cards in there they, they do have individual sleeves so like the high rarity cards so this is the vr the gunning coleo and Cyclomer 2, which is, ooh, the pattern looks really nice. I really like this one. It's quite beautiful. Yes. And um, let's take a look at the VR. Wow, this is really nice. Actually, I, I, I really like this one. Okay, so now let's move on to the um, triples and doubles, if I'm not wrong. So this one is the, the guy that gives you guard restrict if I'm not wrong. Oh wait, no no no. Um no no no, no. he's not the one. Oops, sorry, my bad. Um but he's the triple R, the other triple R. This is the one that gives you the guard restrict if I'm not wrong. Uh yeah. And well he gets a huge twenty thousand power buff. I'm not sure if like people actually play him though because like um from what I've observed like Mega Colony is kinda Making a comeback as like a rogue deck because of all like the, the fall of Exile and um, with clans like Pale Moon, Tachi out of the way, slower protect clans can kind of start to shine. And honestly, Cyclomer Tooth, uh, no Cyclomer Tooth, Gunning Coleo was never a bad card. It, it was pretty weird how they restricted it to the grade 3, but it was never a bad card. It, it was a fairly, fairly decent card. So um, to say that. You know, Mega Colony is just trash tier right now. It's honestly wrong because they can perform well in a slower meta. It's just that now currently we're seeing shit going so fast and games just ending so quickly that you don't really get to see a lot of the Protect Clans shine. And I hope that um, as the meta shifts back to a Force Clan, Protect Clans um, do get some play and some opportunity to like you know, showcase their, their, their strength and stuff. Yeah. So, this is the machining. If I'm not wrong, the machining grade three, and this is the new guy that mills the opponent's deck, which is really good for people who want to play stall. You know, it's like okay, you you want to stall, I can deck you out. So okay, I mean, it's a really really like scum move and a scum way to win. But Mega Colony has always been about stalling and one way to 
win by stalling is to take your opponent out. So I think it's a really really cool idea lah. And um, yeah, I don't think there are. Yeah, I do. I, these are like a playset copies of stuff, and the rest and the comments I which I will not um put a bit of because it's really really it will just take way too long. So yeah, uh, <laughs> this is it I guess for like. Okay, let me just put dust in the middle. It's so out of place because like I'm using I'm playing a zoo nation. I'm putting like zoo nation cards here. And then like there's dust in the middle, which is like what? Okay, but I guess um I guess <laughs> and the two order cards. So yeah, this is what I ordered basically. So this is for Pale Moon, this is just for standard in general or like any pre premium clans that I'm playing, um using like the the standard the V series starters and then my Mega Colony playset from uh the destructive rock. So yeah, this is a really really simple video and a no fast one. So uh, I'm not really gonna edit this, I'm just gonna like upload it and just let it be so you guys can really see how chaotic and how messy this entire shit is. But okay, um if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and do subscribe if you haven't already. So thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye bye!